What's up guys, Andrew at Wissa back here at our Briar Creek investment property that we are rehabbing and flipping. And we have a lot to show you today that's been updated. So walk with me inside the home and I'll show you all the updates and changes we've done. Out here, you can already see that it's been cleaned up out front. Uh, the front of the house has been cleaned and power washed and things, but there's still gonna be changes here. The front yard's gonna be landscaped. So that'll look completely new and nice. And the brick will be painted. There's internal debate amongst the team about what color the brick is gonna be painted. Some people want a burgundy reddish color, some people want a neutral white. So that's not decided yet, but the brick will be painted. We can't leave the brick just like that. So walk with me inside and I'll show you what we've done in there. We're now on the master suite level. So you can see drywall has been put up, which gives the shape and structure to all the rooms now. So whereas before it was just framing, you could kind of look through the beams and you couldn't tell where the rooms were gonna be. Now we got all the drywall up. So now you're really gonna see how the master suite has taken shape. Welcome to your master bedroom. You can see it's a really good size. Um, and you probably had a good idea before of how big it would be, but just with all the drywall up and patched, you really have a sense of the exact room dimensions. So this is gonna be a great, huge master bedroom. And then when you walk in this way, it's a little dark right now, we don't have all the lights in, but this is a hallway that's gonna take you to the master bathroom and the master walk-in closet. And so this is really dark in here because there are no lights on. We're using our little phone lights here just to try and show you what the master bathroom is gonna be. And we'll do another one of these when we have lights so you can see everything. But just to give you a quick update, you can see the huge corner shower that's gonna be there. Really nice big glass will wrap around it. And the toilet's gonna be to the left of it right there. But you can see what we did with this huge shower in the corner is it's got the marble look tiles all around and it's got those two pockets in the wall for you to put your soap and shampoo and that sort of thing. And then over here on the other side is gonna be a really huge mirror up top, make the bathroom feel even bigger than it already is. And you'll have the double vanity below it with a lot of drawers and storage. So this is gonna be a really usable, a very spacious master bathroom. And just to kind of save space, and because this is a hallway in the master suite, we elected to make this a pocket door so that it's not swinging out and blocking the hallway or swinging in and cutting into the interior space of the bathroom. And now, the pride and joy of all closets. Welcome to the master suite closet, which will be a huge walk-in that's actually really bright and sunny, even with no lights, because it's got these two huge windows. So there's always gonna be natural light coming in here. So you can see on one side, it's got this big section over here where we'll, we'll have storage and, and uh, things to hang clothes up on. And then on the other side, we've sort of got the same thing over here. So you can see that the baseboard is already going in around the home too. You'll see that in a couple other rooms. And we elected to go with a higher baseboard for a more luxe feel than the more typical shorter four and three inch baseboard. So it just makes it look a little bit more high end. And now we're at the top floor of the house that's got three pretty good sized bedrooms with their own closets. And it's got a full bath up here to be shared for those bedrooms. So for those of you that have been following along the journey, you'll remember this is where we had the infamous toilet right where this ladder is that when you sat on it, the back of your head was right in front of the window. So that was not ideal. So again, toilets being moved over there and what was a double vanity is actually just gonna become a single vanity over here. And you can see that we've completely redone the whole bath shower area over here. Really nice clean look with these white brick tiles and bathtub underneath them. So this is a much improved look from how it was before.
And now let's just step into one of these three bedrooms so we can show you guys what's been going on with those. Now you'll notice also the doors have gone on now, which is another change from last time. Uh, the doors just have to be sanded down and painted, but they're otherwise good to go. Same thing with the closet doors. So all the closet doors are on in all the different bedrooms. And you can see these are actually really good sized closets for these bedrooms. Uh, these have two each. And of course we haven't changed our UFO dinosaur mural yet because it's just so special to us. That'll be one of the last things to go. And like we mentioned before on the other floor, you can see that we stick in with the higher Lux feel baseboard in all of these rooms as well. Okay, and now we're at the floor that's half a step below the main floor, not quite the basement yet. Again, this is the room that we've touched the least so far because we're not really gonna change that much down here. Importantly, we did get rid of what was like a shoebox thing jutting out from the ceiling. You can see where the drywall has been patched up there. But that was a really obnoxious and ugly kind of shoebox sticking out of the ceiling for some pipes. So we rearranged the pipes and got rid of that. So now it's just a much more normal shape of the room. And then as you walk through here, if you remember, this was a really, really narrow doorway. So you kind of had to, you know, scrunch up when you went through it. So we were able to widen that out and just make it a normal hallway doorway. Um, and now it's much easier to walk through. And so when you come through here, you'll see that there's still gonna be a half bath here that we haven't done anything to yet, but that's gonna stay. And you'll notice that the office drop ceilings are gone. So we raise the ceiling up, I wanna say at least half a foot, probably more, and now it's all drywall. So not only does it look a lot better, because no one wants a drop ceiling in their house, that's for like an office complex, but it gives you a lot more headroom too, because it raises the whole ceiling up. So it just feels a lot more airy down here now. You don't feel like you have to duck around. And so this was the mudroom area, because we've got a separate entry and exit door down here, and the washing and drying machines will be over here in this little pocket. And in this pocket, we'll also have some cabinetry above these for storage and that sort of thing. And similar on this side too, to store things once you come in from outside in this door. So let's take a walk down into what is the lowest level, the basement that we transformed from an unfinished to a finished basement. And you can see this has come a long way and looks really different now. With all the drywall up in the basement, you can really see the different rooms down here starting to take shape. So this is the big main area, and we've got a couple different places where you're gonna be able to mount TVs down here. But if it were me personally, I'm thinking the TV goes here. I wanna show you something. A lot of people in the room, you need more space. Voila, right into the wall. Wow. Sometimes. And you have a nice big sectional right here in front of this post because that's a structural support post, can't move it, gotta stay there. And so I'm thinking, if it were me in my man cave, couch would go right here. Nice big sectional TV wall mounted there. And maybe a bar back there, something like that. Um, and then as you come over here, you can see the two other rooms we have down here is a full bath and an office slash bedroom, whatever you would want to do with it. And that was completely added so it can, you know, add additional uh, bedroom down here or office, however you want to use the space. And the fact that there's a full bath down here, I mean, you could basically live down here. Uh, in fact, with enough TV and video games, maybe I would. So this was just a utility closet. Um, we didn't really do too much in here, but we did, you know, uh, wall it off to make it separate from the rest of the finished basement. And we moved the water heater from the right side to the left side. But you can see we wanted to keep a good amount of space in here so that you can actually work on and service this stuff. It's not packed in so tight. And this is gonna be really dark, but let's try the phone light trick again. And so this is the full bath that we put. There was no bathroom in the basement before. This is the full bath that we put down here. And you can see again, really, really nice flooring and a really nice 
tiling in the shower bath area. Uh, again, we did another pocket where you can put your soap and shampoo and that sort of thing. Um, and there'll be a toilet and single vanity over here. So again, super useful to have another full bath down here, especially if you're gonna spend a lot of time down here, get your office and TV and that sort of thing. And then also gonna be very dark in here, but we'll see, we'll see what we can do. This is going to be either an extra bedroom or it's just going to be an office sort of thing down here and not much to show besides the fact that it's been walled off um, but again just creating more rooms more useful space okay and this is the main floor that's been completely opened up and now with the drywall up it doesn't have all the framing and beams visible and you can see the room start to take shape right so if you remember from what this originally was these were all separate the kitchen was separate the dining area was separate the living area was separate so it blew that all wide open now you walk in and it's a nice big airy room with this sort of unique feature that will be an accent wall right here and so when we were opening this room up we found a bunch of structural posts and walls that had to stay and so this one we actually couldn't get rid of but why not make lemonade out of the lemons and make it a really unique accent wall for this room i think that'll be really cool it looks a little dark in here right now but that's just because we have all the windows covered while we're working on it uh, when these big they're almost floor to ceiling windows when these are opened up uh, this room is gonna have a ton of natural light and be very bright in here. Uh, and so the kitchen, again, is gonna be over here. And if you recall, this door was actually over here. And so that door, that was closed up and the door was moved over there. That door goes to the carport outside. And there was also a window that we closed up, a window in the old kitchen, sort of near the uh, sink area. And that was closed up. And now it frees up that whole wall for nice storage and cabinetry for the kitchen. So this whole area is gonna be a really nice, big, modern, open kitchen. And over here, between our accent wall and that post is gonna be a huge island. And the island, breakfast bar, you can eat there, hang out. Everyone wants to kind of hang out near the food in the kitchen anyway. I know I like to. Um, and so this will have a lot of seating at this big island. And we made the kitchen wide enough so that multiple people can be working at the same time. Maybe someone's washing something over at the kitchen sink at the same time that someone is, you know, over at the refrigerator, something like that. It's going to be really nice, big open area for everyone in the home to enjoy, even at the same time. And through here in the other corner, that's gonna be the living area. Uh, you know, you'll have your typical fairy, TV, couch, that sort of thing. Um, so that'll be in that corner of this room. And again, it's nice that it's all big and open now, so you can all hang out at the same time. Someone can be cooking, talking to someone that's watching TV. It really makes, you know, the experience in a room like this much more cohesive for a family. And out back, you can see that we're gonna replace those two big doors. There's a little patio with some pavers out there. Um, and that's pretty much it for all the updates we have. Uh, but yeah, with the drywall up, you can see it's starting to take shape. You can see the different rooms. And we're really excited to show you, now that we have the rooms up, what's gonna go into all the rooms. And so, again, I'm Andrew from Wissa. These are the updates on our Briar Creek investment property flip. And we're glad that you stuck with us on the journey and you've seen how the house is sort of taking shape. And we hope you catch us next time where we have even more updates and improvements as the build comes along. See you next time.